Four PDP bigwigs who dumped the opposition party for the ruling APC in 2021. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The next general election is fast approaching and politicians have already started, started strategizing. Many politicians defected from one party to another in the year 2021. Yes, yeah, so... Even there are some defections that scatter some people's shop absorber. Like defections like um, the famous FFK. Who was a number one critic of this particular administration and APC. There is nothing he did not say. And sincerely I just, you know. That was when I said politicians. You don't trust whatever comes out from their mouth. You do not. You trust them at your own, as in, at your own discretion. At your own peril. You trust them as your own peril. Some people, like, till today, they are still wondering how, you know, FFK managed to defect from APC to PDP, I mean, from PDP to APC, and have been sinking their praises for a very long time. The news in detail. However, four chieftains of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, dumped the opposition party for the All Progressive Congress, APC, in 2021. They include 1. Governor of Cross River, Ben Ayade. Ayade joined the ruling party in May 2021. The governor was received by Governor Mai Malabuni of Yoba State and other prominent members of a party at a warm reception in Calabar, the capital city of Cross River. Ayade was elected governor twice under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. He was previously elected as a senator under the platform of the party before he became governor. Speaking after his defection, Ayade said he joined the APC to support President Muhammad Buhari in national development. Ayade is the only APC governor in the South-South geopolitical zone. 2. Governor of Zamfara State, Belo Matawale. Matawale joined the APC in June 2021. He was received by prominent members of the party in Gusau, the capital of Zamfara. Matawale said he joined the ruling party in order to support President Buhari and the fight against insecurity in the state. Many elected officials in Zamfara State followed Matawale to the All Progressive Congress, APC. Matawale, who was the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, emerged as the governor of Zamfara following the Supreme Court judgment that notified APC's victory in the 2019 general election. 3. Senator Stella Odua Odua joined the ruling party in August 2021. The senator representing Anambra State and the National Assembly dumped the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the build-up to the Anambra governorship election. Odua served as the Minister of Aviation during Good Luck Jonathan's administration. She was sacked by Jonathan due to her corruption allegations leveled against her. The senator has been has pending corruption cases for the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. 4. Femi Fani Kayode Fani Kayode joined the APC in September 2021. The defection of the former aviation minister elicited a lot of reactions in the country because he was a vocal critic of the party and the President Buhari-led administration. The PDP chieftain had previously called members of a ruling party unprintable names and stated that he would not join it. Fani Kayode met with several APC leaders before he was finally taken to President Buhari at Aso Rock by Governor Bully, who is the caretaker chairman of the ruling or Progressive Congress APC party. Well, 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 this is why, do you now see why I'm saying that if you are one that is saying, I been, I'm going to vote for PDP or EAPC, and they have not, see, uncle, do you, are you now saying that they're the same people? Is it now clear to you? It is clear, as in, if it's not clear to you, I don't know what will make it clear. It is crystal clear that PDP, APC, all of them are just names. Just like if you go to the market and you go to one particular line and they are selling, for instance, clothes 
and you go to another line you're selling clothes it is the same thing the same products just different names that is all a lot of defection have happened some people have left pdp join apc from ac apc come back to pdp and i'm like what's going on so me if you are among those now that come out to say oh um the all progressive congress they are this they are that i'm going to vote for pdp i'm so sorry to disappoint you you'll be voting for the same people that is why i am of the i am of the opinion that we before you come out and say you even want to come out and say oh the election is now on and you get your PVC and want to vote for people. We should do screening. The way we, if you're going to start a business venture, you do your market research, you do your market survey, you take notes, you learn from people, you listen to podcasts and all of that. You follow people who have been successful in that line of business for a very long time. And at the end of the day, you know, you're just careful so that you don't put your money in the wrong place. This is the same way. That we should be looking at this our election coming up if we really want it to make sense that candidate you think is the best can you screen the candidate screen the candidate how is he performing what exactly is he doing where is he serving if the person is if the person is uh, um somebody who is maybe is occupying the government office now you start watching him now and when you bust into these people's face with, you know, impromptu questions like, okay, you say you want to become the president of Nigeria, what and what and what and what are you going, what you have in stock in Nigeria? We should be able to, they should be able to come out and say, okay, for someone who is prepped, who is very prepared, who has been doing his work, he should come out and say, okay, um, in Nigeria's economy, we have been making use of this and this and that politics. And that is why we have been finding it difficult. So when I come in, if I am given the opportunity, this and this and this and this is going to be used. We are going to use the strategy and the other one. At the end of the day, it is going to, it's going to be like, okay, like a roadmap. The person will say, we don't want somebody to come in and say, hey, I'm going to become, I'm, I'm going to solve insecurity. How? Show us how. And all this thing will be impromptu. Then you can now, from there, we can now get competent people who are really, who really have integrity and have the interest of Nigerians at heart. What about Omar Ebo in state governor? When did the, when did the defection took place? Okay, so people are even more current. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy.